my people. Guys, do me a favor, hit that like button down there. You know where it's at. That'd be appreciated. And if you do, you will uh, automatically find yourself entered in a, to win your very own golf pencil. Uh, that's not what I use it for. I'm a carpenter by trade, so I use a pencil to make measurement marks. Um, also, make sure you check out dnknives.com uh, for all your knife purchasing needs. They are who sent this along, and I want to thank them for that. And uh, also, make sure you use this coupon code if you do purchase there. It is behind the edge 10, one word, for 10% off of your order. Um, guys, make sure you subscribe. 75% of my viewers are not subscribed, and that is viewers that view all the time. Um, and if you just don't want the uh, notifications for my daily videos, then uh, just turn them off. That'd be sweet. Um, I'm going to do a uh, 1,000 sub 1, subscriber giveaway. Holy crap, I can't talk today. <sighs> And it's going to be awesome, but you can't uh, be a part of it or even know that it's happening um, unless you're subscribed. And uh, it is totally free. Uh, there is something that is not free, and that is Patreon. And that will have a link in the description if you're interested in, in uh, supporting the channel in that way. And um, as usual, all donations there will go to Knives for content 100% of the time. <laughs> And also for giveaways. Today we have the Alliance Designs Babe Ang uh, oh crap, this thing has a long name. Angry Stubby Baby Bear. That is really the fucking name of this. And it doesn't want to stand up. Uh, let me find something here to help it stand up. Because of the clip. Oh, we'll just flip it over. How about that? Anyway, this is a nice, very nice, uh, titanium liner lock. Uh, it's technically a frame lock with a, uh, big slab of carbon fiber, um, overlay, which is, you know, what it is. Um, this has a less than three inch blade, which is not my favorite, but there's that. Beautiful, beautiful hollow grind, and we will get down to that in a second. Um, RWL 34 is the blade steel. Uh, they, these come in many versions. This one is the titanium carbon fiber. It also has a carbon fiber uh, backspacer. And uh, it is a Ray Laconico design. Which he is usually uh, the designer of very subtle plain Jane utilitarian knives. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen that he has done. And I mean crazy in a good way because... This is a great looking knife <coughs> and uh, pretty useful. Um, right off the bat, we're going to go after this blade. Uh, nice and thick blade stock. I'm going to guess it's 150 thousandths. Um, I need to get some calipers that work. Uh, but it goes down to this screaming thin cutting edge because of this hollow grind. Very deep hollow grind and uh, excellent looking hollow grind. Sorry about that. Uh, camera shaking my cat just jumped out of the window and hit the thing um everybody knows that's watched my channel for any amount of time i don't particularly care for uh tantos but this one i don't know it, I, I like it uh, obviously you can use this transition point here for excellent uh, utility cuts for opening packages or whatever um, they do work well for that uh, this is on bearings. It does not have a lock bar insert, but on the website it does say it is a carbonized lock face. So you should have no issues there ever. Um, action is excellent, but since the blade is just so small, it doesn't just slap shut. Uh, the handle and the blade are almost identically the same length. You get... Uh, as much blade as they can put into this small handle, which is 3.75 inches long, um, which unfortunately keeps me from getting a four finger, a full four finger grip on this without having to squeeze together. Everybody squeeze in, squeeze in there. Um, you can use this 
choke up position here, but you better be careful because that uh, edge is quite close. It does have a sharpening choil, believe it or not. Um, that keeps you from getting a smile when you're running back, sharpening back into this plunge. Um, which is a, a good touch, but you're not going to get a lot of sharpenings before you start hitting that plunge. Um, another thing that's kind of weird, it has this aggressive belly. Which gets you back into here having a little bit of a recurve. Not a lot, just a little bit. But, um, I don't know, I thought that was a weird... Not that it's bad, it's just weird why they would do that, I'm, I'm not sure. I do like a knife with, with belly. Um, but I also like the flat area as well. But anyway, it, it's that's neither here nor there. It might make it a little bit more difficult to sharpen uh, correctly. But it's not that big of a deal anyway. Tank toes are a little bit more uh, work when it comes to sharpening anyway. Because you have two different leading edges. Um, carbon fiber looks excellent. The inlay work is nice and even. Uh, this is very beautiful carbon fiber as well, even though it's pretty standard in the industry now. I think it looks good. Uh, I'm not sure who makes this. The website for Alliance Design says they use many different um, Asian manufacturers using materials uh, sourced from the United States and Europe. That is what it says. So I want to guess it's going to be Riot, We, Best Tech, or one of those. I'm sure somebody who knows everything will tell me in the comments. So I appreciate that. Excellent snappy detent. Very, very well done. Um, if this was my knife, I would have a notch milled into there because there's enough blade showing that you could get your finger in there. And if you catch it just right sometimes, I can't do that under the camera, you can snap it open with your middle finger. That would make this knife uh, much, much better. And um, since it's flipper only and since it's sub three inches, it's just not for me, even though I absolutely do like this knife quite a bit. Um, they are not making this anymore, and they are hard to find if you are looking for something like this. Uh, but DNK has it. Uh, they are expensive. Um, they're $400. Um, but if you if you use the coupon code, you can get that down to $360. Um, it is a Chinese manufactured knife. So for that price point, you can get a lot of knife, uh, even made in America, <clears throat> like this guy here. But if it's worth it to you, then, you know, it's available there. It, it To me, the materials and the quality is worth it. Uh, but, you know, the, the, the fact that it's made elsewhere uh, kind of makes it not worth it to me. Anyway, let me know in comments if uh, you guys have one of these or if you like it, dislike it, any of that good stuff. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, check out Patreon if you're interested, but absolutely please go check out dnknives.com and uh, that'll be all for today. Uh, do me a favor, guys. Make sure you're nice to each other because nobody likes a cunt. Later.